bad feeling about this. No, I think the page views will be pretty good. I don't know. Who are you, Grandma Flarpin? All the Disney's Animal Kingdom attraction names were on us. Uh, the Nick. <laughs> oh boy. The Nick Driving Simulator. Because Nick. <laughs> Nick. We are celebrating by counting down the 64 greatest scenes of attractions in the history of the Walt Disney World Resort. This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com. Here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for February 25th, 2022. Yes, I am wearing a Peppa Pig shirt. That's because we went to the grand opening of the Peppa Pig theme park. You can watch that whole segment on uh, from Thursday's WW News Tonight. It's available now. Or if you just want to watch that segment alone on Saturday, it's going to be uploaded on, on its own here on the channel for your enjoyment. So... That's why I have this shirt and this mug and this plush. The less questions asked, probably the better at this point. Let's start the news. Effective February 25th, three major attractions will be removed from individual Lightning Lane purchase to access through the Disney Genie Plus uh, through August 7th. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Hollywood Studios, Space Mountain of the Magic Kingdom, and Frozen Ever After at Epcot will be available for selection alongside other Lightning Lane offerings through the standard $15 Disney Genie Plus offering instead of through an individual purchase. Other individual Lightning Lane selections will continue to be available. This is the second time such changes have been made with the same attractions along with Expedition Everest uh, having been made available to Disney Genie Plus users through the holiday season last year. Design team Kevin Kidney and Jody Daly announced on their Instagram that they have a new line of art and collectibles coming to Walt Disney World in honor of the 50th anniversary. They wrote, quote, we've just finished creating an exciting assortment of brand new collectibles celebrating 50 years of Walt Disney World fabulousness. Those who frequent the Magic Kingdom will start to notice the arrival of items through the spring. We're very excited to share with you all we've been working on in absolute secrecy over the past year and a half. Uh, it's possible, it's very likely that the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride shirt, which you've seen on this show and I've worn on some shows, uh, that Kevin and Jody did was the first piece of that line. It's been available and uh, I cannot wait to see more. Kevin and Jody are amazing. Not only have they designed some of the best parade floats in history they worked on, with so many of the Tokyo parades, uh, from Happiness is Here to uh, the, the current parade, a lot of great stuff. Um, They've done Paris parades. They just did the Phantom Manor statues for Paris, which are unbelievable. Um, they, they are just incredible. I love everything they make, and I'm very, very excited for what else is coming. Attention, Patriots one and all. A new windbreaker themed to the classic America on Parade, which ran from 75 to 76 at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World in celebration of the Bicentennial, has made its way to Disney's Animal Kingdom. The America on Parade windbreaker is part of the vault collection for the 50th anniversary. This is this... This is now the anniversary collection, right? So we had the first anniversary items come out. Now, the fifth anniversary of Disney World was in 1976, and it was during America on Parade. So now we're getting merchandise related to that. The jacket is red, white, and blue with the white drawstring for the hood. The upper part of the jacket is mainly navy blue, as is the hood. And the back of the jacket says Walt Disney World with the logo D. A white and red stripe separates the blue from the red printed section of the jacket, and the bottom of the jacket is an all-over print of Mickey and friends participating in the parade. You can see Goofy, Mickey, and Donald in colonial garb participating in the parade as seen in the original logo, and the windbreaker has pockets with a snap closure. You can also see the print repeats throughout the red section. The sleeves also have stripes. They are a little weird, the sleeves. They're kind of tapered. They're, they're all, we bought one. It doesn't fit great. I'm returning it, just to let you know. You want to try it on in the park, uh, just so you know. The vault tag says happy fifth anniversary again. 76 was the fifth, that's why. Jacket cost $69.99. We stopped into the UK Pavilion and uncovered a new collection of floral UK apparel and home decor at Epcot. 
First was a new floral United Kingdom mini mouse ear headband just in time for the International Flower and Garden Festival. This ear headband features a bold color scheme of red, pink, purple, and blue. And the center of the bow has a crown referencing the English monarchy. The ears have red, purple, pink, and blue flowers, and flowers are visible on both the front and the back. Queen of the Kingdom is embroidered on the side of the headband. The other side of the headband has a silky floral print, but no wording. And looking closer, you can see the flowers form the United Kingdom Union Jack motif on a white background. And the headband costs $29.99. The rest of the collection includes teas, leggings, dish towels, magnets, water bottles, tumblers, a teapot, a teacup set, and more. Check it all out on our website. On a recent visit to check out the preparations for the Flower and Garden Festival, we discovered this new Epcot Corksicle Tumbler. The Creation Shop has the new 16-ounce Corksicle Tumbler. It's hard to say. Tumbler has the Epcot logo and various ribbons of color corresponding to the new pavilion colors on a black cup. The corksicle logo appears in light blue down the side, and the tumbler is a clear, translucent lid. Tumbler is not dishwasher safe. Surprise! <laughs> None of these things ever are. It must be hand washed, and the cup matches the rest of the new Epcot apparel. It costs $39.99. Disney Movie Insiders has announced that a new Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser opening day pin will become uh, available to rewards on March 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific. You can see the new pin in their Instagram post. You'll get it now. I look at it now. You can check it out on our site. What I would like to know is why are movie insiders being given the opportunity to get this pin and not those of us who are actually on the first cruise? I'm a little bitter. I'm not going to be able to sign up. I'm going to be getting ready for the cruise. i got to find a way to get this pin. Previously scheduled to end in March 2022, the Blizzard Beach refurbishment has been extended on internal calendars until at least May. Last spring, Blizzard Beach was the first of two Disney water parks to reopen, but now it looks like the annual refurbishment will be longer than usual. Uh, internal calendars now, Blizzard Beach again scheduled through at least May to be closed, which is as far out as the calendar goes, so it could be longer. Join us for a room tour of a stunning Bora Bora bungalow at the Disney Vacation Club wing of Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Uh, the villas and bungalows are part of the mid-century tropical resort, which recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. The bungalows are available, again, as part of the Disney Vacation Club, but with so few, they are a rare find. They're also a lot of points. We were lucky enough a couple months ago to stay in a bungalow. We finally have this full photo tour and as well video tour right here on the channel uh, you can watch. Please check it out. A lot of work went into it. I think it is the most comprehensive tour of the bungalows anyone has provided. I may be partial. If you're looking for a unique souvenir to commemorate your meal at Chef Mickey's at the Contemporary, well, this new Chef Mickey's apron and dish towel set fit the bill. This is amazing. The apron is long to protect your clothing while you cook, and the black and white checkered apron has Chef Mickey's logo and a pan at the bottom. The apron matches the chef's coat that Chef Mickey himself wears at the restaurant, and the back of the apron is plain white and the ties are black. This pack of two dish towels features one black and white checkered towel with the Chef Mickey's logo and one white dish towel with various Mickey-shaped food. Closer look at the food towel reveals a Mickey waffle, Mickey-shaped egg yolk, and a Mickey dome cake. And foods from various mealtime offerings at Chef Mickey's restaurant fill out the pattern. The black and white checkered uh, towel has a white space on the bottom quarter with a large Chef Mickey's logo. This is fantastic. I love when restaurants get merchandise. I love this. And Chef Mickey's, it has some of that 90s Chef Mickey's ex ooh, aesthetic to it. Um, they came out with that coloring book a couple weeks ago. This is a continuation of that. More of this, please. Every restaurant on property should have a merchandise line. Springtime is almost here at the Tokyo Disney Resort, and there's so much to celebrate the season as it's the first real seasonal event since 2020. There are special plans for food, merchandise, decor, and entertainment that have been announced. Take a quick look at everything that's been announced uh, for springtime at Disneyland and Disney Sea from April 1st to June 30th. As first revealed last month, Tokyo Disneyland will once again host the wacky Usatama on the Run Parade. This goofy parade features Mickey and the Disney friends as they try to gather up the Usatamas, which are eggs with bunny ears who love to wreak havoc around the park. Mickey and plenty of the characters have become Usatama chasers whose goal is to catch the miscreant egg bunnies before they destroy the park. The parade will be pre presented once daily with all seven of its original floats, but in an otherwise uh, altered form to prevent the spread of COVID with no show stop and new costumes for Mickey and Minnie. Merchandise will also be available starting March 31st with new art featuring Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Pluto enjoying their time around the resort together. 
Special food, snacks, and drinks are set to be available as well. You can check them all out at WDWNT.com. Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters will also add a special version with more targets to allow guests to earn more points in Astro Hero Time, which runs from April 1st to August 31st. This is the first time they've ever done this, by the way, in any park. Then there's the massive nine-piece Little Green Man Mochi that'll be offered again at Pan Galactic Pizza Port for the first time since 2020 to commemorate. And to celebrate springtime, one of the passages in Mediterranean Harbor will be covered in new springtime decor, including flowers strung around buildings, flower pots, and new decals on the walls. Merchandise will also be available themed to some of the smaller Disney friends like Chip and Dale starting March 31st. And just like at Tokyo Disneyland, new food to commemorate the spring season will be added as part of the seasonal taste selections offering during the Tokyo Disney Sea 20th anniversary Time to Shine event. You can see the full details on this as well at WDWNT.com. And as always, Tokyo Disney Resort will offer a special commemorative Disney Resort line uh, pass uh, for one to four days at all four stations. That's their monorail system. Continuing their Frozen Selections line introduced earlier uh, this month, Tokyo Disney Resort will begin selling Frozen Cinnamon Mickey Churros through their app starting March 3rd. The churros will come in five sets of four, totaling 20 churros per box. Churros will use essentially the same recipe as those found within Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea, even maintaining the iconic Mickey Mouse shape. The box comes with a large uh, box of cinnamon sugar and 20 wrappers identical to those sold in the park. That's really cool. This pack actually works out to be quite the savings. Each churro turns out to be about 190 yen. That's about $1.65 US. That's less than half of the 400 yen per churro price in the parks. What a deal. ED92 has shared a video on Twitter from, the, uh, from their follower Jennifer who caught some of the drone rehearsals for the Disney Delight uh, show being added for the 30th anniversary in the skies above Disneyland Paris. You can watch the video right now. You're seeing a little clip, the full thing on our website. And in the video, the fleet of 200 drones has formed the shape of the 30th anniversary Mickey logo. They're lit up in purple for a few seconds and changed to twinkling white lights before going dark. Disney Delight will be a pre-show to Disney Illuminations at Sleeping Beauty Castle beginning March 6th. The castle recently underwent an extensive refurbishment as well in preparation for the event. And uh, so this will be quite the, the moment when this happens. Construction is finally underway on Arendelle, the world of Frozen, coming to Walt Disney Studios Park in Disneyland, Paris. Outside Ears has shared photos of construction at the park. Silos and cranes are at the construction site. A lake will eventually be created uh, just to the side of the frozen land. It's meant to be this new area where a bunch of new lands will surround it towards the back of the studio's park. Uh, as well, drilling rigs have arrived at the construction site for excavation of the Frozen Attractions Foundation. And pictured here is the Frozen Land concept art was released back in 2019. A similar land is also being built at Hong Kong Disneyland. They're both basically getting frozen ever after. Uh, sadly, Paris is not getting the uh, Wandering Oak and Sliding Sleds attraction, that the coaster that Hong Kong is getting, but it should still be a welcome addition to the studios. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let the team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit WDWNT.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind this program by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Oh, hello there. Can't get no privacy at all around this place. But I'll tell you what you can get. These fantastic t-shirts from the Carousel of Products. I don't open wear a t-shirt, but if I did, this would be the one. Uncle Orville, there's a terrible racket coming from here in the bathroom. John, what's happening? I, we're just talking about t-shirts. T-shirts, what's that? Why, it's the 12 Flags Over Epcot shirt from carouselofproducts.com. Another good one. Yes, go shop now. Just $20 at carouselofproducts.com. All of our t-shirts. What's a dot com? A 
tell you around the next turn.